I happened to see in a magazine that you could glue yarn to watercolor paper and create what is called yarn painting. I decided I would introduce that to my students. I had a lot of yarn left over from working with high school students. And I noticed how my students really enjoyed doing that. When I got started with the yarn art, I did too and tried to get ready for our local sidewalk art show. I would get invitations and after people saw the yarn art, they would say, bring some yarns for the exhibit. It was around the middle 80s when I was um, had some yarn work on display downtown for our sidewalk art show and the gallery director at that time had started giving best in the show and an exhibit. So I won best in the show and then uh, had a chance to have an exhibit. different about every piece. Um, my cotton fields, I don't do any, even though I've done over 20, and cooking on the wood burning stove, no, there are uh, none identical. When I first started, I was very cheap. You could get one of these large ones for $200 or $250, and my first one sold for $250, but that was in about 1972. Uh, I'll go up to about a thousand or twelve hundred. 